Hey guys, so here's the story of how this thing went down. So first, we kept hauling around our kids on regular sleds and they kept bumping into each other. And I knew that was gonna be a disaster and someone's gonna get hurt. So then we started to look for a sled that we could fit all the kids on. And after frustrating all of our options, we realized there is no such thing that exists. So then that's where the idea came from that we should build one ourselves. So we drew it up. Um, had some ideas with the curvature and dimension so all the kids could fit on there and to it we went. So here's how it, we got started. So first thing we set it up, we secured it, we set up a level on it so we could monitor the curvature as the heat hits it. And then we made marks at 4 feet and at 8 feet on the pipe. At the 4 foot mark, you want to get about 3 inches of curvature. That allows the sled to move as you're driving. And then the last part at the 8 foot mark and the end of it, you want to get about 9 inches of curvature. That's what allows the sled to go up on the snow as you're traveling. One other critical thing of when you're heating this is on the inside, you want to put some a wire mesh or chicken wire because what happens is when you heat it, the pipe loses its structural ability. And that wire mesh allows it to still keep its form and shape as you're heating it. Levels we got set up so we could uh, keep them consistent.
my goodness, what happened? I don't know, I just hit the ice. You look, you look a lot like Eli Chisholm. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, I have to do it with the mic. Like, you look Yeah, that's the old thing.